What's going on guys? I'm just finishing up some lyrics for a very popular Christmas rendition. I'm uh, switching up the first verse. Uh, let's try it out. On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me, Grogu set him free. No? Okay. What's going on you guys? James here with another real reaction and yes, I am diving right into the final episode of season 2 for The Mandalorian, chapter 16, episode 8. Again, I don't know the title. I don't know necessarily who's directing. Pedro Pascal did say Peyton Reed is going to direct. I don't know if that's smoke and mirrors, but I'm going to take his word for it. So yes, we at least know that Peyton Reed is going to direct this episode. He was also the director of The Passenger, which was episode 2, 8 pretty solid episode but not necessarily one that knocked my socks off so I'm wondering if he will work for this finale I have all the confidence in the world though that they're gonna end strong now it's up to Mando to save Grogu he also has his buddies Boba Fennec and Cara Dune and whomever else is gonna join I'm sure we're gonna see everyone like Carl Weathers anyone that Mando befriended is gonna be on this mission maybe Bo-Katan Maybe, but if I had to make any prediction, guys, I do think that whomever Grogu was able to reach out to on Tython, that Jedi is going to come and help set Grogu free. If it's Luke, I'm freaking out. But I wonder, could Ezra make an appearance in this final episode? And what about Grand Admiral Thrawn? Oh, I'm excited. Now, before we get into my reaction, guys, if it's your first time here at the channel, welcome to Real James, where I talk about movies and TV like this all of the time. So go ahead and hit the big red button below, subscribe to the channel, and tap on that bell so you don't miss out on any more content. I got my entire ranking for every single Chadwick Boseman movie coming up very soon. And if you guys missed it, we talked about coming to America yesterday. We got a first look. And I dropped my review from Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. So guys, smash that like button for this video too. And get loud in the comments. And don't forget to start a conversation. Guys, I want to know, what did you think of this finale? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you in the middle? And um, I guess we're going to find out whether or not I'm going to cry, be mad, or be very happy. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, Moff. Previously on The Mandalorian. Oh, Bo-Katan. Bro, let's go. Oh, Ahsoka. So good. Mm, which Jedi is going to sense his presence? Oh, rest in peace, Razorcrest. Oh, he's... Oh, oh my gosh. Give me that Lucasfilm logo. Give it to me. Yes. Oh, it's about to go down. Oh, boy. It's really, it's really happening. Oh, I'm, like, shaking. I'm shaking. Either I'm shaking because I'm excited or it's three in the morning. Oh yeah. Oh, we ready? Let's go, slave one. Come on now. Oh, Boba. <laughs> oh, he says shut your mouth. Tomboy's got an attitude. Oh, dude. Look at the dude. Dude, Boba's got like all the tricks of the trade. Ion cannon. Bomb thingy from last week. Oh, my dude. Oh, that's our boy, Din Djarin. Oh, 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 we got a little standoff. Oh, did he just kill his buddy? Oh, oh, Kara's gonna kill this dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah, buddy lost his hearing after that one. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Listen to that theme. Drop that theme song, homie. The rescue. Oh, Grogu, we coming. We coming, baby boy. Oh, man. When Boba and Mando walk up on the scene, <laughs> looking real mean. I'm not going to rap anymore. I'm going to stop. Okay. <gasps> Bo-Katan. Oh, it's Sasha. <gasps> Freaking yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Freaking yes. Heck yeah. Oh, she said, I don't know. Oh, she did she just say that to Boba? Oh, this standoff though. Don't talk to the champ like that. I mean, I love Boba, but I'm gonna take the woman's champ. Let's go. Oh, dang. I mean, it was about time that they were gonna 
throw hands at some point. Oh, let's go, Sasha. Ooh, fire against fire. Oh, the dark saber. <laughs> Bo-Katan wants that dark saber. Oh, my gosh. Hearing Din saying that the child is his only priority. Grogu be coming. Dude, the fact that Bo-Katan is back is so cool. Dang, I love the fact that they're coming together for a plan. Oh man, it's gonna go down, y'all. It's going down. No oh boy. Here it comes. They about to board this light cruiser. Oh. Oh jeez. Well, Boba, you better dodge those TIE Fighters. Let's go, homie. Show them what you're made of. I get so excited when I see TIE Fighters like this. I don't know why. Moff knows something is up. He knows it. No, oh, dude, Bubba is too good. He's too good. Oh, dude, Bo-Katan fighting makes me so happy. Oh my gosh. Dark troopers. Oh lord. Hmm. Fennec and Kara, like they ride together now, I guess. Oh, that's sick, dude. The way they come in from the sides. Oh, that's cool. It's <laughs> awesome. Oh, here come the dark troopers. They better roll out. I'm not talking about the dark troopers. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yo, Fennec is kicking some butt. Dude, what a shot. Oh my gosh. Ooh, saw that little matrix bob and weave? Alright, Fennec. Mm, here come the dark troopers. Oh boy, I'm starting to sweat. Okay, I mean, it's not because I'm wearing a sweater. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. This all seems way too easy for Team Mandalore. So, huh. oh, she said, my gun is jammed. I'm just going to hit you with it now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The action in this episode has been excellent so far. Uh-oh. Um, you need to run. You need to run, homie. Uh, come on, Din, run. Uh, oh, no. Dude, no. Oh, no, please. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh, here we go. Okay. Is this gonna work? Ooh, the Beskar Spear. That's his wild card right now. I love it. Oh, <laughs> yes. Goodbye, Dark Troopers. Now, my question is where's Moth? Moth is probably with Grogu right now. Oh, yo, Mando. Yo, he's a straight killer. That guy. This guy, oh my gosh. Ooh, snap his neck like that? Yep, I knew it. Oh my gosh. Oh no, Moth. Oh no, Grogu. Oh, dude, bro, I can't. I can't. Dude, there's no way that Moth kills Grogu, right? No way. No. Moth is gonna try to kill Din. There's no way. I knew it. Come on, Mando. You gotta be smarter than that. But here's the showdown we wanted, guys. It's about to go down, y'all. Oh, Beskar Spear versus Darksaber. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Moff said, get that little wire out my face, homie. Mm, Bo's gonna be happy to see homeboy Moff, but this means Bo-Katan gets the Darksaber. Really? You have to win the Darksaber in battle? They're being boarded. Oh, no. All the Dark Troopers came back, Lord Almighty. Is that a blaster? Oh. Well, guys, we gotta look out for that now. Is Moff gonna use that to kill someone? I wonder if Grogu comes in with using the Force at any point in this episode. Dude, I wonder what's gonna go down. There's gotta be something else, right? That happens. Because it's true, I think Mando and everyone else is gonna die with this attack. Oh, man. It's about to happen. What's this alarm? Is that? Oh, it's an X-Wing? Who in the heck? Guys, no. This is not happening, is it? No. Is this gonna- is this who I think it is? Cause this ain't just Appa from Kim's Convenience. Oh, Grogu's eyes got wide. Guys, what is going on? Why did they stop punching? They turned around, who is it? 
Guys, is this who I think it is? Is this the Jedi that reached out to the child? <gasps> oh my god, no, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, what's the color of the saber? I can't tell from the screen. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. This is who I think it is, isn't it? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh dude. Oh my god. I just want to see his face now. Is Bokatan? Did Bokatan just. Did, did Moff just kill bo -Katan? Oh, Moff was gonna kill himself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, Grogu. Oh, that's his homeboy. He knows who it is. I just want to see his face. Oh, this is where the reveal happens when elevator doors open. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Dude, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at how he's crushing him. Dude, look at this shot. Look at this shot, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, Luke. Oh, my dog. Yes. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, my oh, jeez. Yeah, he's a damn Jedi. Oh my god, look at the technology they're using right now to get him to look as close to young Mark Hamill as possible. How in the world, bro? Listen to the theme. Oh, oh my god, this is too much. Okay, when they get a little bit closer to his face, I'm not gonna lie, the CG looks a little weird, but I'm still excited. So is this where they part ways? Oh, goodbye Grogu and Mando? They're splitting up? Oh my gosh. Oh. He's gonna take his helmet off for the kid. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. This is breaking my heart right now. Oh my gosh, for as excited as I was, I am now super sad. R2. <laughs> Look at R2 shaking, so happy. Oh wow. They handled this pretty darn well, though. Like, the CG doesn't look awful, but I can tell it's CG. Oh, bye, Grogu. Oh, my heart breaks for Mando right now. Nice to see bo okay, too, in the background. It's my dog. Respect, Grogu, respect. Oh, Mando. Freaking, this is a lot. This is a lot to take in. <laughs> Why am I waving? Who am I waving at? They're saying so much to each other without saying anything at all, like the journey they went on together. Mando's mission is complete. Wow. Freaking chills. That's it. Wow. Freaking chills. Peyton Reed. My gosh. Alright, let's talk about it. Okay guys, so I know I said let's talk about it, but I'm wondering if there's an after credit scene, so I've been sitting here through the credits. Okay. If there's not, we'll transition. But if there is... There is an after credit scene. This is like some OG Star Wars vibes right now for sure. So Mando and the squad? Are they are they here? Is that Boba? What is going on here? Oh, Boba just said peace out, Bib Fortuna. So it was like, what, is Boba assuming this throne? Oh, Boba took the throne like a boss. Oh, we getting that Boba spinoff. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, wow. Okay, now we can talk... The Book of Boba Fett. What is this? Oh, <gasps> confirmed, bruh. So next December, Boba Fett's chapter. Well, there you have it. Alrighty, guys, let's talk about it. Alrighty, guys, well, there you have it. That was my real reaction to the season two finale of The Mandalorian. So we need to talk about what we just saw. The Book of Boba Fett coming December 2021. According to the Disney Investor Day, they did say Mandalorian season three was coming 
December 2021. But what that tells me is we're going to get a Boba Fett spinoff. So the next book, the next chapter is Boba Fett. I think Din Djarin's story is done. He completed his quest. So that might be the last we see of that. However, I can see Mandalorian kind of taking that direction of going through like anthologies, like different chapters of different characters. Bo-Katan and everyone, they're going to get their own spinoffs as well. But I think Din Djarin's story might be done. And that would break my heart because Pedro Pascal was a legend. So if this is the last time we see him, Pedro, thank you for all your hard work, bro. That last scene was so emotional seeing Grogu and Din Djarin saying goodbye to each other understanding the journey they went on and of course who other than Luke freaking Skywalker to come save the day even though they used CGI to kind of make him look as young as he was for that time Mark Hamill was credited in the end credits so that means he voiced Luke it was just cool to see his name but man what an emotional series of events now the cat is still out of the bag as to whether or not Bo-Katan does get the dark saber or not I'm sure that'll have to be resolved but what it sounds like to me is that now the Mandalorian starts to take on different books different chapters we're gonna get Boba Fett spinoff next December we might get a resolution between Din Djarin and Bo-Katan speaking of Bo-Katan guys it was so cool to see Katie Sackhoff and Sasha Banks teaming up once again for this finale. I was a little disappointed in how that final fight between Moff Gideon and Din Djarin played out. It was almost too easy. However, I do think that Moff is smarter than he puts on, so it's almost as if he wanted the Darksaber to go to Din and not to Bo-Katan. That might have been his plan all along, but it was just a dope finale. I think Peyton Reed did an amazing job, much better than he did with The Passenger, so I am incredibly happy with how this season ended. It does leave a lot of questions left unanswered though, and I was almost sad not to see Carl Weathers again, but it makes sense because how did he or how would he have fit in to this finale? So all in all, I think that this is a really good finale. I was super happy and we have so many different questions now, at least I do, about Boba Fett. Now, Boba Fett and Fennec are going to probably team up for this book coming in December of 2021, and I'm wondering if they will revisit Din Djarin's story at any point, or if that chapter is closed. And if it is, well, it got closed on a really somber but very happy note because he completed his task. <sighs> it's sad. It's sad to see them split up. I wonder if we will see them again, but it was such a good bookend to a excellent season but i want to know what you guys have to say about this episode guys get loud in the comments below next week i am thinking about doing a book two review an overall look at this season that'll be fun so guys don't miss out subscribe to the channel help us not only get to 3,000 subscribers but there's a lot to pick out from this episode so we have a lot to talk about Alrighty, guys i love you thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you at the next screening and grogu i'm gonna miss that little dude i really am